Hi there, Bruce Loxton from Safari and we're here today to have a look at the next phase in our using uh, voice control uh, to control uh, switches and devices in an RV or a boat. Uh, we've got set up over here the Cymarine system which is doing the battery monitoring and uh, we've got uh, two different batteries here. We've got uh, water tanks here and we've got a temperature on a heater here. Um, this is a removable uh, four segment switch, which I'm gonna use for the demonstration today. And we've got underneath here an LED light that's an RGBWW. In other words, it's, uh, it's got uh, red, green, blue, and white LEDs in here. Um, it's an analog device uh, wired in. The controller's at the back here, very small. And that's just a small antenna. And on the right here, we've got the uh, Google uh, voice control in this uh, beautiful Lenovo display. Fantastic resolution on the front here that you can see. And I've got a scene controller here, an eight, eight button scene controller. And I've got another uh, one of these uh, four segment switches. Um, so let's uh, kick off and let's go straight off with the voice control. Okay, Google, turn on outside lights. Sure, turning the outside lights on. And what you'll notice is that the lights have come on, uh, quite intense. On the screen here, we've got the brightness. Uh, it shows the percentage level that it was at, um, that it's turned it up to, 94%. If I touch here, you can see there's different colors here, but let's not touch it. Let's ask Google. Okay, Google, change color outside lights to blue. Sure, changing the outside lights to blue. Now, one of the applications we have in the RV industry is that the uh, at sunset, when all the insects are out there, we really want the color of the light to be a yellow color. Uh, so I've created in here a, 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 a scene. Hey Google, activate barbecue lights, no insects. Okay, activating the barbecue lights, no insects. And so on that command, uh, the light here changes to a yellow color, a little bit brighter, so that I can, um, so that we can uh, do the cooking. Now let's have a look at, this is currently running on the internet. If I swipe this display, I come back to uh, seeing here the temperature today. It's got a choice here, I can open Spotify. So, okay Google, play Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify. Now, this is where the Google Voice really gets into its own because the quality of this speaker here is just superb. And we can then cast this sound to outside the RV using uh, a Chromecast, it can go out to a small outside speaker and uh, the music can be selected inside and we can cast it uh, to the outside. Um, the display comes up with an album cover so we're playing uh, The Devil's Tongue here, Roots of Change. I'll just go quiet for a bit so you can hear the sound. To turn the volume up, we can actually just run our finger up here. Turn it off. Or we can just hit this and mute it. Can, even when it's loud. Okay, Google, turn volume down by 50%. And uh, Google is attentive to, to the command and will then turn the volume down. Uh, let's go back to our RV now. Okay, Google, stop music. Okay, Google, turn off outside lights. Okay, turning the outside lights off. Now, let's say we don't have any internet and we actually turn this off. I'll disable this at the moment. Turn that whole thing off. We don't have that, we don't, we turn off the internet. And these switch devices here operate on a mesh network and communicate directly to the controller there without any um, hub, without any internet. So right now, if I go and press this one, uh, this light will come on. And I've got that button there preset to come on at a sort of a half intensity in a different type of color. I've got this button here, when I press it to come on, uh, the light will come up to full white. And I've got this one here uh, set so that when I press it once, it'll turn the lights on, they're already on. I press it twice 
and it'll actually turn the light off. So these three activation buttons here will go through and operate without any internet, without any hub. You can actually take this out of the RV, it'll operate for up to 50 metres away, it's Wi-Fi, rechargeable battery behind here, and the battery's good uh, for three months at uh, 30 presses a day as a minimum. Um, this uh, this uh, slide on the top here, I can, as I move this up and down, I can actually dim the light, so I can actually move this finger up and down here and actually press and hold it and change the intensity and the dimming of the I'm just going to show you one other feature here on the um, on the, the lights and the control here. Uh, the lights here are on a standalone small battery, here, small 12 volt battery that I've got here. And the lights are currently on here. I've activated them. And let me just take the power off. So the power is off and the Simarine's gone dead. Uh, the lights are off. But when I put the power back on again, the lights will come back to the condition that they were in before loss of power. So it means that in your RV, if you are set up for some reason, you turn your main battery on and off or it flickers on and off, um, it doesn't mean you've got to reset any computer or re-go around and turn the lights on. Now that's a major difference between this secure mesh network and other types of wireless technology. So the controller uh, here has in its memory the state of the uh, lights and on loss of power, and when the power is re renewed, then it just goes back to the state it was in. Exactly the, the color, exactly the intensity, exactly the state uh, once the power is refreshed. It's a great feature. Thank you for watching.